we had the pleasure to have a female fighter from California, Agnisa Spitfire Kirakushin. Hey, thanks for joining us in this interview. Thanks for allowing me um, talking right now with you. How are you? How's everything doing at this time with you? Everything's good. Thanks, Christian. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure when it comes to female uh, boxing and women's boxing. I love to support as much as I can. Um, I've been speaking with other female fighters in the past. And this is a pleasure for me to speak in with you because I know... Uh, for what we've been saying and talking, you have a, a great talent, and also, um, what can I say? Hey, if I'm not mistaken, and I know that out, outside the camera, you told me you were one of the sparring partners from this female fighter, a champion from California, uh, Sinicia Estrada. Tell me, how was the experience going with Sinicia Estrada and help her in her camp? Um, it was really awesome, like, to work with her because she's always focused. Like, I've never seen anyone with that much focus, like, when she's sparring, working out. So it's kind of a motivation. You kind of have to level up right away. Um, it was pretty awesome working with her, and especially for the Marlen, Marlen camp. I got to help her out with that. Um, me and she had other sparring partners, too. But it was a pleasure working with her. She's an amazing person and a great fighter. Yeah, I mean, I I can tell that she she's very dedicated, very very consistent, and and also disciplined. Because uh, for what I see on on social media, she posted pictures where she trains uh, really hard, and she takes very seriously this uh, this this job. Because uh, when I say job, is is a living life where she pursues. Uh, this is everything for her. Hold on. It's on point. Um, just like, just like all the st all the stuff we were doing, it was just it was just intense. Mm -hmm. It was just like everything was point, you know. Um, but it was cool because it was like she would always like come in with different moods because you know how Marlene was like just going at her like that whole like feud that was happening. Sure. So it was cool. Like she would come like one day like super like serious, super like I feel like that would just motivate her. It was like you know fueling her. So it was it was cool to be a a part of it, you know, to to get a a chance to to be the, the to be the sparring yeah. partner of Sinisa Strada, and I know uh, great things will happen in her career because uh, hey, she's she's a champion for a reason. I know that she is pursuing to unify uh, the weight division where she belongs. But eventually, we're gonna see that in the future. But let's talk about yourself how did you enter in this sport where you know we see great female fighters when i could say the great female fighters i talk about clarissa shields uh cecilia breckles uh, and other name alicia napoleon from new york heather hardy amanda serrano and so many other names what does it make you to become a you know a female fighter like to pursue boxing. What's your story? Um, <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of long. I'll try to make it short. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, I first, like, the, I think the first time I saw a female fighter was Susie Kentikian. She's another, she was a flyweight Armenian fighter from Germany. And my grandpa used to watch a lot of boxing. So when I would go visit him in Armenia, then he would always be watching all the Armenian boxers and stuff. Um, but I started, I, like, I always say this, I say that I feel like boxing chose me. Mm. I didn't, like, choose boxing, it chose me. Like, I was always a little fighter, even when I was a little kid. Like, I was always, like, fighting. Like, I would just throw hands at any time. It was kind of, like, if somebody said something, I would fight all the time. But I, I, always, I, I always liked boxing, but I never knew, like, where to go to box. But then when I went to when I started going to college at Glendale Community College, mm -hmm. they had a boxing club, and I was walking past it like a few times. And then they asked me, they're like, "Hey, do you want to join?" And then I was like, "Is it is it like a class or a club?" And they said it's a club. So then I um, so then I was like, "Yeah." And then like I was going through a lot at the time, 
and I was like super angry. Like I want, like I was, like I just, I would kind of hit a dead end in my life. Like sure. I was going through a lot of stuff. I just, I, and then once I like boxed, I just like, I was like, what, what have I been doing all my life? Like I should have been doing this like sooner, you know. I kind of started late, but I was already an athlete. Like I was a cross country and track runner for like all throughout high school and like in college too. So I was so then when I started, I just never stopped. I started at um, kind of late though, 23, mm-hmm. and then I've just been going ever since for like seven years now. Wow, it's amazing, amazing story. I mean, eventually you are right here. You are in the right path, and and I bet you when you are. You feel hungry and you feel that type of energy. You're pursuing great things in your life. And I can tell that uh, there, will be, um, there will be more of you in, ahead. So I can't wait to see you uh, when you're going in, in the ring. So when we talk about going in the ring, when is the day that you, you know, you're going to perform in, in some kind of you know, event? Uh, is it soon or when is the day that you you have a? Yeah, uh, it's actually not this Saturday, but next sa- Saturday, which is November thirteenth, in Mexico, oh, San great. Luis. Uh, yeah, San Luis. Yeah. Oh, great! I mean, hey, I, I think it will be a great experience coming to Mexico and oh, I mean going to Mexico and then. Um, I I think you will do great. So if you feel that. This is the this is this is the moment where you gonna show the world uh, what you made of and and pursue your dream. Hey, let's make it happen. Um, when it comes to yeah. female, I like to support this movement because uh, not too many people comes around and and do the interview with the fighters. But I love to get any female fighter when it comes to different stories that they bring. Um, right now, talking about Mexico. Uh, November 6th, we're going to have Kayla Plant versus uh, Canelo Alvarez. What do you think about this yeah. match? How do you see this match oh, is going to is gonna end or is going to come for this event? Okay, well, I'm super excited about it because I feel like it's like, I don't know, I think it's a big challenge for Canelo because, I mean, they're both great fighters and I like both, so it's like, but I, I just I just feel like it's it's gonna it's gonna go the distance. Um, I, I'm just super excited. Um, like I, I, I can't wait. So it's this Saturday, right? This Saturday. So um, what do I think of, of like who's gonna win? You think or? Mm-hmm. What do you think yeah, who's gonna I'm, win? I'm asking you. Who got who got more uh, percentage? The who wins or or how he's gonna win? Like, let's say an example. What do yeah. you think about Canelo's skills from where you see him? I think, mm-hmm. Well, I think he's he's gotten, like, after the Mayweather fight, like, he's not the same fighter anymore. Like, he's changed a lot. Like, he has all the tools. Like, he has punching power. He has defense. He's, like, technically smart in there. And so I feel like, like, if, if Caleb plants, he's, he has to bring it all. Like, he – but – I've been watching, I've been studying, I've been studying both, and because my coach is sending me, like, like, oh, I think you should, like, try to look him more because, like, your style is kind of similar. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, okay. So I've been watching uh, both of them. Uh, I don't know, I just, I feel like it's going to be a great, great fight, and, but I don't, I don't, I don't know, it could go either way, like you said, like, I mean, one punch could change everything. But I think it is like his, his biggest fight of his career, and and Canelo like he only has one loss, right? Like um, yes, Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like like I feel like that's why I feel like after like if if he fought Mayweather now, like it, at his prime, I feel like he could have beat him. Right. right. Exactly. Right now we can see that Canelo is a different animal. He's a different fighter because uh every 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 fight that comes in canelo's career he improves differently and that's uh, that's what makes you know him the best as the best pound for pound for pound king even though you know people like today people don't like today people as he mentioned some people hate me some people like me hey 
I'm here to do what I'm, what I'm supposed to do and I think it's gonna be a great event uh, talking about this great event uh, there's another event where well, well, it's gonna take place pretty much soon Teofimo Lopez, George Cambosos what do you think of oh, these yeah. two fighters that eventually <laughs> that fight is gonna happen I, okay I love I love both of them again. So I'm sorry, but I like I just it's hard for me to choose. But I Teofimo like I like him a lot, and, and Cambusos like he I feel like they're just so hungry. You get me like so, like those those underdogs are super hungry, but then those champions are so great, and they've been at the top. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. So it could doesn't I I can't really go with either or. I know I, you want me to pick one. But it's kind of, it's really hard. Um, but I, I just, that's going to be another, like, really good fight. I think that Tia Fimo, like, he's he's another, like, smart fighter. I really like learning from him, too. And Kambusos, like, I feel like he's going to just come. Am I saying it right? He's, he's going to be, like, charging forward. I don't know. Like, just the way they're talking, they just seem so confident that I can't, like, say that, like, the champ is going to take it, you know what I mean? Because they seem so confident in themselves and they believe in themselves. So it makes me believe in them too, kind of. I always I put an underdog too. But I, I, I want, because I want to see some drama, you know? I want to yeah. I want to see how, I want I want the champ to like, to, to go through, like to, to, to keep their belt, you know, go through the most. I want the, uh, like the underdog to bring their best, which I feel like that's what's going to happen in both of these fights. Yeah, you're right. I mean, as as much as as George Cambosos mentioned in the interviews uh, in the past, he says, I have nothing to lose, even though if I lose a fight. But if I gain, I have a lot to gain because, hey, I'm defeating one of the 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 best uh, fighters that is in the in his in his division. So which is Teofimo Lopez. But I think Teofimo Lopez, he's ready. He's uh He's confident. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that George Combos is not confident. He both fighters are confident, but over here is I feel like that will, that's gonna be something that the fans they they love to see what outcome is gonna be. So that's why I always encourage every fight fan to stay tuned because we we don't wanna miss this fight and and I'm guessing your fight neither because hey you are gonna you're gonna do you know what you love to do in boxing but talking about this yeah. uh this topic uh how uh you started um i mean you tell me outside the camera you were in in some kind of surgery that uh they did in in the past how you make a progress or or be or you feel that you are an inspiration for other females when you overcame this issue in your personal life? Um, so basically, like, in 20... Should I, should I, I'm sorry. So basically, in 2020, I had a, a surgery, like a huge surgery. So they found a, a fibroid, a tumor, like three and a half pounds, like eight inches long, which I didn't, like, have a clue that it was there. But it was, like, this big. Um, and I was in training camp with Tunisa for that, for the Marlin, you know, um, I didn't feel it. I didn't know I was I was sparring. I was doing all the workouts, everything like my trying my best, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So in so in twenty twenty June ten, I had that surgery, which they had to like cut like a huge cut and then take it out. So um, I'm just happy. Like I, it's just the only thing that scared me was that I wasn't gonna be able to box. And for me to be a, like in twenty twenty one, getting my pro fight, like a pro debut, started. I feel like like I already won like in the like right after the surgery like they told they told me like if you walk um you'll heal faster so I was like okay I'm gonna walk even though it hurts like hell and even if you sneeze or breathe or you can I can't even get out of the bed by myself I had to like have like pull myself up with my hands which is good I had the strong hands and I think being in shape and just mentally like keeping a positive outlook always like looking at at the the good, mm -hmm. like, even though it's, like, the worst thing happens, like, if you just focus on, like, the good things, sure. then you can get through anything, and then just, just, like, I, w I was walking 
with my mom every day like four miles Mm -hmm. because that was the only exercise that I could do I had to like have something tied around it by like three months I was already like um like kind of healed so like I was already running and I started boxing again but then I I kind of started like boxing and sparring like way too too soon because um I kind of hurt my like ligament my Mm -hmm. tore my ligament and my knee while I was uh boxing but I think that was like uh, that happened so that I could slow down because I was going way like I was getting rushing into it. Sure. So I just think that like it's life. Anything happens. Like you always have to be a fighter, and that's what makes us fighters because we go through personal issues and stuff like that. And we come back. You know, that's what makes I think a champion. That's what makes a champion. Hey, I feel like you won this fight before you step in the ring, and I give it a, a great. Uh, I I would say I I take up my hat from my head and say, hey, you made a, you made a, you made it. I mean, because you are an inspiration for other female out there, not only for for female that practice boxing or that are in the field. Uh, like doing some kind of exercise, but I feel in general you are an ex- an inspiration, and it's a great thing that you're talking about your story. Uh, what message would you like to give it to you, to the fight fans, your fans, people who support you, and the family, of course? Um, what message? Hmm. Uh, well, I just I just want to say like thank you, thank you guys, thank you for first of all, thank you for having me and letting me be on, on your show and just to ask me, you know, questions, help sharing my, my, uh, my story. Um, and the fight fans is just, thank you. Like just keep supporting and everybody like that fights, like they put their life on the line. Like we just lost, um, one of the female fighters. Um, so like everybody's fighting, you know, and, uh, just be respectful and, just support, you know, like support the fight, fight, um, fighters, you know, support the fighters and just, just stay tuned, you know, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. Like this, this whole journey and a lot of women right now are coming up into the sport. They have a lot of skill and talent, like the, obviously the men too, but yeah, everybody, like everybody needs to see the women. Cause it's even right now from like little kids, like our, like little girls asking, like, I'm like, I see videos. I'm like, wow. I'm glad they're so young. They're not gonna fight me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're they gonna like boxing is evolving, and women are bringing something different. So be ready. Hey, we will stay tuned, um, guys. I encourage every fight fan uh, to check Agnesa Speedfire Kira Caution because I know she's bringing her best, and she will do great uh, pretty much soon. So for the five fans before we ended it, can you uh, remind us your Instagram or social media or Facebook uh, so the fighters can, the, the fans can, they, they follow you and stay tuned of everything that you do? Yeah, you guys, could, you guys for Instagram, you can follow me on uh, field of fire underscore Spitfire. And then I also have a YouTube channel. It's Spitfire Rising. Mm-hmm. So you can also follow, follow um, there too. Oh, great. So, hey, I'm hoping this is not the last time where we're going to speak. Uh, I wish you the best. Uh, I know you, for what I hear right now in your story, you you are going to be there for making history, for writing your story. And and I want to be one of the witnesses. So, um, only in God times, we, so only in God, you're yeah. welcome, only in God times we will meet each other because right now the pandemic and everything is working little by little but not the way we want it before but i know we're gonna gather yeah. together again and 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 hoping to everyone be safety out there so hey but we're gonna check ourselves uh, you know in another interview thanks like nisa for uh giving me this opportunity to speak with you um we will stay tuned on you Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You, you are.